Hello everyone, I'm Mohit Jain from MJ's Maths and Stats with Sample Questions, Volume 6.2, Question number 551 to 565, Questions of Previous Year, TCS, NQT Examination. On a 26 question test, 5 points were deducted for each wrong answer and 8 points were added for each correct answer. If all the questions were answered, how many were correct? Let x were correct. So for each correct answer, you will get 8 points. And for each incorrect answer, you lose out 5 points. So I multiply by minus 5. And the final score was 0. So that should be equals to 0. That is 8x minus 130 plus 5x is 0, 13x is 130, x is 130 by 13, that is 10. 12 liters of water is poured into an aquarium of dimension 50 centimeter length, 30 centimeter breadth and height is 40 centimeter. By what centimeter in cm? that is centimeter will the water rise let us take this height by which the water rises as x centimeter the volume of the water poured in the aquarium would be 50 into 30 into x cubic centimeter now 12 liter is 12 into 1000 cc so x or the height by which the water rises would be 12 into 1000 by 50 into 30 will give me 3 times 4 and this is 2 that is 8 centimeter. Gargi wants to watch W final and her son Arhit wants to watch CC final. They decided to roll a tetrahedral die twice. The tetrahedral die is numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 on its 4 sides and all numbers are equally likely to appear. Gargi rolls first and then Arhit rolls. If the number on the first roll is strictly greater than the number on the second roll, first roll number is strictly greater than the second number roll, Gargi wins. What is the probability that Gargi will get to watch W match? Gargi win is how many times the first number is greater than the second number now since the die is rolled twice total number of cases would be 4 into 4 that is 16 favorable cases so that gargi could win would be 4 3 4 2 4 1 or 3 2 3 1 or 2 1 in all these cases first number is strictly greater than the second one so favorable cases would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 out of 16 total cases so probability that Gargi will win is 6 by 16 that is 3 by 8 in the normal course Tina Manna and Gargi can each individually build a wall in 5 8 and 10 days respectively Tina 5 days M 8 days G 10 days. Due to difficult conditions at the site, the individual time required for each to complete the work has increased by 20% respectively. So 20% we need to add 20% time to this. So 20% of 5 is 1. Now Tina will take 6 days. 25% is 1 fourth that is 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. 50 days 50% of 10 is 5 that means G will now take 15 days. How long will they take to build the wall if they work together? And we know the drill and the drill is simple just find the CM that is common multiple of 6, 10 and 15 that is 30. 30 by 6 is 5, by 10 is 3, by 15 is 2, add them up this is 10 that means TMG would take 30 by 10 that is three days to complete the work now and they are working together.
क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव 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 ए टू द पावर बी मीन्स ए टू द पावर बी फाइन एफ एक्स इज ए एक्स टू द पावर फोर माइनस बी एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स प्लस फाइव ना एफ ऑफ माइनस थ्री इज टू वी नीड द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ थ्री ओके लेट मी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स दैट वुड बी ए एक्स टू द पावर फोर माइनस माइनस एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस एक्स प्लस फाइव सो इफ आई डिडक्ट दीज टू एफ एक्स माइनस एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स वी आर लेफ्ट विथ टू एक्स ना इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स इफ आई पुट थ्री देन एफ ऑफ थ्री माइनस एफ ऑफ माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स टू इंटू थ्री दैट इज सिक्स सो एफ ऑफ थ्री इज सिक्स प्लस एफ ऑफ माइनस थ्री एंड वी नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ ऑफ माइनस थ्री इज टू सिक्स प्लस टू इज एट वन फोर्थ ऑफ द टैंक कंटेंट्स फ्यूल ओके वन फोर्थ ऑलरेडी देर इज फ्यूल इन इट वेन इलेवन लीटर्स ऑफ द फ्यूल इज पोर्ड इन इलेवन लीटर्स एडेड अप द इंडिकेटर रेस्ट एज हाफ मार्क दैट मीन्स नाउ इट इज फिफ्टी परसेंट फुल दिस इज फिफ्टी परसेंट वन फोर्थ वॉज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट दैट मीन्स दिस इलेवन लीटर रिप्रेजेंट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द टैंक सो ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट कैपेसिटी इज इलेवन लीटर्स फाइन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द टैंक दैट मीन्स हंड्रेड परसेंट कैपेसिटी ऑफ द टैंक इज इलेवन बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड दैट इज इलेवन इंटू फोर फोर्टी फोर लीटर्स You have been given a physical balance and seven weights: forty-seven, forty-six, forty-three, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-two, and seventy-seven kgs. Keeping weights on one pen and object on the other, what is the maximum you can weigh less than one seventy-eight? Okay, so if I take seventy-seven, I'm left with a hundred and one, but it should be less than. 178. That means my maximum can go to 100 with these six. 48 and 49 are the biggest one of this lot of six. 48 plus 49 will give me 97. 77 plus 97 would be 174 kgs. I don't think we can weigh anything more than that. 174 kgs would be the maximum which we can weigh using these weights how many six digit even numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 even number means the last digit should be an even digit can be formed from the digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have got seven digits so that the digit should not repeat very good repetition not allowed and the second last digit is even that means second last digit is also even now how many even digits do we have 2 4 6 out of these three digits two should be at the last two position now in how many ways we can choose two even digits from the three even digits in three c two ways fine and in how many ways we can arrange them here in factorial two ways now we are left with four position and since two digits are already occupied at these two position we are left with five digits now five digits can be arranged in these four vacant positions such that repetition is not allowed in 5p four ways so 3c2 is 3 factorial 2 is 2 and 5p4 is 120 Six into one twenty is seven twenty ways, or seven twenty six digit even numbers can be formed with the given conditions. Now one more thing: instead of using this three c two into factorial two, we can directly arrange these three in the two places in three p two ways, and the remaining five in these four places in five p four ways. Three p two is six. Five p four is one twenty. That also gives us seven twenty ways or seven twenty six digit numbers. Question number five fifty nine. Out of a group of swans, 
सेवन बाई टू टाइम्स द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द टोटल नंबर सेवन बाई टू टाइम्स द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ द टोटल नंबर आर प्लेइंग ऑन द शो द रिमेनिंग टू आर इन साइड द पाउंड प्लेइंग ऑन द शो प्लस द रिमेनिंग टू इज इक्वल्स टू टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्वान्स X is either one by four, which is not possible. They are swans; they can't be in fraction. So, if I take x minus sixteen is zero, the number of swans should be sixteen. In a village, every weekend, three eighth of the men and one third of women participate in a social activity. If the total number of participants is fifty-four, fine. That means x plus y is fifty-four, and out of them eighteen are men. That means number of men participating are eighteen. Then number of women participating are fifty-four minus eighteen. That is thirty-six. Then find the total number of men and women in the village. Okay, so eighteen men participate. That equals to three eighth of the total men in the village, isn't it? So three eighth of the total men is equals to eighteen. So how many men would be there? Eighteen into eight by three, that is forty eight men. And now thirty six women participate, which equals to one third of the total women of the village. So one third is equals to thirty six. Therefore, total number of women in village is thirty six into three. That is hundred and eight. Okay, so we have forty eight men and hundred and eight women. So if M is thirty percent of Q, that means M is to Q is three is to ten. If I take Q as ten, then M is thirty percent of ten. That is three. Q is twenty percent of P. Q is to P is two is to ten. N is fifty percent of P. That means N is to P is one is to two. If P is two, then N is fifty percent of two. Okay, so I'm writing here P is to N as two is to one. Now, if I combine them, I'll get M Q P N, and that would be. Four three twelve four forty two hundred is two hundred. Now, what I require is m by n. So m by n equals twelve by n is a hundred. That is three by twenty five. There are twenty persons among whom two are sisters. Okay. Find the number of ways in which we can arrange them around a circle. So that there is exactly one person between two sisters. Please note that the exact position of the circle doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. Everything about circular arrangement is given. So two person A and B should be sitting together, but with one more person between A and B. Now, who is this person? This person need to be selected from eighteen rest. in how many ways we can select one person to be seated between a and b from the rest 18 people in 18 c1 ways now we can see that these three people will always form a group and we know the drill for the group grouping drill is n minus g plus 1 into factorial g fine but since it is circular arrangement Number of ways in which these twenty people would be arranged in a circular fashion, such that these three people are always in a group, would be twenty minus three plus one minus one for circular permutation into now only these two people, that is two sisters, would be arranging themselves on the two seats in factorial two ways. So the total number of cases would be. 18c1 into factorial 17 into two ways. Now 18c1 is 18 into factorial 17 into two. That will give me two into factorial 18 ways. 
find the length of the longest pole that can be placed in an indoor stadium long wide height see in a parallelopiped or a cuboid the longest pole which can be put in this cuboid with length l breadth b and height h is the diagonal of this cuboid the diagonal of this cuboid is given by root over l square plus b square plus h square so in our case also the length would be 24 square plus 18 square plus 16 square so the length of the longest pole that can be placed in this cuboid indoor stadium is 34 meter of a set of 30 numbers the average of first 10 numbers let it be x1 that is average of first 10 is equal to the average of last 20 numbers that means average of last 20 numbers is also x1 then the sum of the last 20 numbers so the total is 10x1 plus 20x1 that is 30x1 because average of all the numbers is same then the sum of the last 20 numbers can be sum of the first 10 numbers no 2 into sum of last 10 numbers we need the value of 20x1 cannot be determined 2 into sum of the first 10 numbers yes 20x1 can be written as 2 into 10x1 that is 2 into sum of first 10 numbers so no mathematics thus logic and we are working out with the options whatever fits in option d fits in in a certain city 60% of the registered voters are party a supporters and the rest are party b supporters in an assembly election 75% of the registered party a supporters and 20% of the registered party b supporters are expected to vote for candidate a what percent of the registered voters are expected to vote for candidate a so candidate a will get 3/4 of 60 that is 55% vote from party a and he will get 20% is 1/5 1/5 of 40 that is 8 votes from supporters of party b total he will get 45 plus 8 that is 53 votes out of 100 if we have started with 100 but uh, in percentages then it would be 53% Thank you everyone for participating this is Mohit Jain from MJ's Maths and Stats stay connected to us subscribe to our channel and believe me magic happens thank you i'll see you soon